On today's episode of Watch Chair Go, we are back with my 2005 Nissan Titan, the tow pig, and now it's got this great Banks exhaust. It's wrapped, it's ceramic coated. Look at all the water. It's been snowing all day. Look at the bead from the ceramic coating. It's awesome. And today, we're gonna make it a lot better tow rig. It's upgrade time. What is going on guys? I'm Watch Sherigo and today I'm here with Tyler, the guy I bought the Saab from, traded the Saab to. Uh, you are XB list now, huh? Oh yeah. What happened to the XB? I sold it. Oh, congrats. <laughs> well, we are back here with the Titan. Like I said, we're gonna do a little bit of work to it. The chrome's gonna go away. First this chrome, I mean we ceramic coated it so it's nice, the water just falls off, but it doesn't look good because it's always pitted and everything like that. So we're going to black. Yeah, a little bit of a reflection. There's a Banks badge is looking good down there. This thing's dirty from, I've been driving it nonstop. But here's the thing. J&J &J sent us over some parts that I wanted. I was out here firing up the BMWs and I think some Nissan Titan parts have arrived. Oh, the semis here. Excited about these seats. All the leather and heat and power. Man, J and J does not mess around with their shipping. Look at this; these are completely mounted. They built brackets and mounted the seats. Every other time I get them, they're crammed in a box. More covers than I thought. Ha ha! Look at that. Leather Infinity seats from a QX56. These are power heated leather. Beautiful seats. I have to give a huge thank you to J&J, &J. and Tyler's pulling out the rest of the magic, a complete steering column with the steering wheel controls for the, all the media and all that good stuff. Really excited about that because the radio has all the stuff. It just can't be controlled because I have a basic steering wheel. If you would, go give those guys a follow on Instagram. They get all these new parts in and they post the cars, a lot of late model GM stuff and newer SUVs, the stuff that we, like, we're getting these seats out of. They post all that stuff as it comes in. So if you need parts, you wanna be on their Instagram and follow them when it shows up so you can get the parts before they're gone. It's J&J &J Auto Wrecking on Instagram and I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can just click on it and check them out. Let's get to work on this truck. It's gonna look a lot bigger. These big mirrors make a big difference in the truck. They're, they add like that much height and uh, they also slide out so we can have the Dodge Ram. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, let's put some mirrors on this thing. It's pretty easy. Uh, we'll just start by tearing the door panels off. Shouldn't take too long. And Zach pulled off these covers because they're just plastic and I gotta get some new ones from Nissan. Uh, they're actually just like a, a really thin flexible plastic that covers that up with an adhesive and there's just four bolts holding the mirror on. So the wiring connector down in the door, gotta pull the panel off and then pull out these bolts. We're gonna show you how to put big toe mirrors on your normal toe Nissan Titan. Step one, pull this little cover off here. It looks like there's a fastener there. There might be some under here, sometimes there is. And I went ahead and popped that out. You just pull the top and then it slides out like that. So we're almost there. Looks like this whole panel pops out. There are two fasteners in there. You need an extension just to get in. It's a quarter, not a three eighths. Bruh! <laughs> a much longer weapon. Here we go. So pop that out. And one more, there we go. Now we got a loose door panel, I think. <laughs> and uh, we might have to go ahead and unplug those two connectors. Connector is off, door panel is off, and we just need to pop out all this fun stuff. Let's see, there's the locks. You'll wanna pull out on the cable and then up, and then there's one more down here. Of course, that's super hot. Awesome. Door panel off, that's not the way to do it. Uh, do it the correct way and take the light off first. Right, here's the mirror connector, Tyler's going in. Release that bad boy. All right, now we got three tens, four, four tens. tens. And I'll grab the mirror. Do work, son. <laughs> Destroys mirror. No. It's not coming out. Got oh. adhesive there. All right, and so. I'm gonna feed you your uh, connector there. Connector's gonna take a little bit of work. This job's definitely easier with two people. You can get these mirrors on Amazon. These are the big toe mirrors. They will not work if you have memory, but this truck does not have memory because it's not loaded. So these mirrors should work perfectly. They are heated and power, 
but if you have the memory recall, it's a different mirror and you probably have to get it from Nissan. These ones were less than 200 for the set and uh, it's just some random stuff I found on Amazon. I'll throw the link in the description below as well. And uh, this one says L, so I bet it's the right one. You mean the left one. <laughs> Got jokes, don't you? It comes that's, in a, a carrying a case. I'm gonna, here actually I'll just, where are we going? Uh, extendo mirrors, cuz. This gasket's not nearly as nice as the factory one. It sticks out a little bit. But we're gonna make it happen. So I'm gonna put a little dab of Loctite on each one of these studs before we install them, because I want the stud side to stay in the mirror uh, while we're like assembling and disassembling this thing here. Uh, just get it past the gasket. You can just take the gasket out if you want. It's really just in your way. And there's the one stud was already in there. So we're gonna leave that one alone and we'll put these ones in. Slide the power connector for the mirror down through the little hole right there, stick your mirror in, and put the bolts on. How am I looking over there, Tyler? Am I like looking lined up? Yeah, I got your, uh, got your power connector there. Here's uh, one nut to put on the top if you would. Don't drop these nuts, if you do, you'll be in trouble. So it just goes like this, no big deal. There's the very bottom one, which is the most dangerous one, and I might drop it. I got it, I got it, I got it. We're safe. Hit it with the impact. Wait, 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 wait. Actually turn it down for once. Mirror installation. That actually, yeah. I might actually tighten it a little bit more by hand, but no, that's, oh, trailering mirrors. <laughs> now I can see the trailer and they're heated in their power. That looks so good. Oh, just, just like my old one. Ugh. I'm getting my door panel cleaned up over here. How's yours going over there, Tyler? How's round two? Getting the mirror off. I like it. Didn't lose the nut this time. Didn't lose the nut this time. We didn't lose the nut last time. No, we didn't lose that either. One of the studs is kind of sticking. There it goes. Pull that up. A wiggle and a jiggle. There you go. Sweet, another mirror down. They even send you new nuts and the studs. So if you lose one, don't worry. Yeah. All right, yeah, we got exactly. started. You're good. Putting the switches back, putting our tins back, and uh, these are wrapped up. Both sides, that was really fast. Starting with the next easiest, we're gonna do the passenger seat. Pop the little covers off here for the bolts. It does look like a 14 or a 15 for the bolt too. My truck has no power to the seats. They're manual seats, of course. And we're gonna have to go to the salvage yard and find a harness and I have to add the heated seat controls that sit up there where the shifter is in the center console. There's a lot of stuff I gotta add, but I figured we might as well at least get the passenger seat in, see what we're dealing with, and then go from there. You find it? No 14s. Got you a deep well. Nice, thanks. Wow, that's tight. <laughs> uh, that's I can turn it up. See if it works. Do. I turned it to three. There Maybe Milwaukee goes. wins again. So there is some power running to the seat because it does have occupancy sensors and all that good stuff. <laughs> Can you see? All right, here's one. Got it. Here's the second one. Got it. The seat is unhooked. We just fold it up. Desk mode. Ah, uh, yes. A lot oh, more room for activities, huh? Got some power there. Yeah, and we also have some sunflower seeds. And a socket? Yeah, bonus socket. We got a free bonus socket. Is it a 10? No, it's not 10. It's a bench top 930 seconds. Hey, the seat's in! And we did some cleaning. We just wiped it all down. Made sure all the, any dirt was off it. Just need to do a little positioning. I think that's the position right there. It has little locating pins, so the seat just drops in if you've got it right. And it kind of looks like we might have it right. Fits like a glove. So the seat belts anchor into the seat. You do need these to be tight. No, no playing around. Okay, I need one of those. Yeah, this thing's amazing. And then you can just ratchet it on down until oh. it's tight. <laughs> Probably <laughs> one of my favorite new tools. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the airbag stuff and then uh, we'll find a way to get a little bit of power on this. Let's see where it lands. Let's. Okay, so it definitely needs lean back via power. <laughs> it needs lean back a lot. And it probably needs to come forward 
quite so a bit because there's a lot of posture. There's a lot of room up here, that's for sure. A little bit of temporary power in the connector right there. And we're just running that outside to the old Rolls Royce battery. And uh, now we can put the seat right where we want it. And that thing's a monster of a seat. Get comfy. Oh, let's see. Let's see where this sits. It needs to go back. Definitely. And then I like to sit like a little bit farther forward. We'll make a match. Seems about right. It's a good spot right there. Comfy. These seats are way nicer. Gonna be a nice luxury hauler after this. I don't know if you know this, but they're also the airbag seats. Yeah, straight out of semi. Okay, they're not. And now this ugly, terrible, bothers me driver's seat, it's going away. So uh, I'm just gonna pop off this cover, pull our 14s, and we're home free. Flat head. Straight bed. It's all right, I call Phillips a pan head. I call them all Phillips and straight. This time I'm just gonna use the ratchet, why not? It's just so easy. I did already disconnect the one little wiring connector that is a seatbelt sensor on this. We've given up on powering the seat's control unit real quick, so we pulled down the connectors we needed. Uh, this is recline, and this motor here that we went ahead and wired in real quick is seat forward and back. So that's basically all that we need at this point. We've got a little battery right there to run the thing. We're gonna go ahead and put the seat in, and then later on, I'll go get the rest of the wiring harness and try to actually get this all hooked up the way it's supposed to be. Finding the wiring diagram for the 2009 Infiniti QX56 is really difficult. We went through all the Titan and Armada diagrams and we still don't know uh, what the wiring pinout is on that. The only thing we do know is white black is power and black is ground. And then maybe a green is ignition, but honestly, nobody knows. <laughs> we, we've read a thousand pages. And it so, somehow ties into the CAN bus. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, and there is CAN bus <laughs> control. And it, this is, of course, the seats that have memory, and this truck has none of the memory options or anything like that. So uh, a lot of fun. I just need a way to power that unit. I'm going to go home and read all the PDFs, and uh, that should get us there. Leather seats! Yeah! Bring in the welder. <laughs> All right, suit direction we got let's, for let's see if we hooked it up regular right. polarity. All right. Yeah. Boom. Uh, that's the fully back. Yep. So just hold it, let it run. All right, let me hop in. And finally, we have leather infinity seats in the Titan, and they're adjusted right where I need them to be. Look at that, comfy. Now these are like five times more plush than those 200,000 mile Titan seats. This thing has like 180 on it, so they were getting up there. So nice, nice, comfy seats. Uh, we probably have an airbag light now. Haven't figured out the airbag connector. No airbag light. Start it, see if it blows up. We're good. We did it. Success. New exhaust, new intake, new seats, new steering wheel. That's well, it's coming up, and new uh, mirrors, the towing mirrors. Uh, I've got my hitch. I've got the huge. Uh, I forgot rapid hitch. It's an all aluminum rapid hitch to go on here to complete the tow beast. We've got some straps to throw in here. It's about ready to go fetch any car that we want. I'm super happy about the Titan. I can go drag cars around on trailers. Anyway. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to head on over to J&J's Instagram. Give them a follow. See some new cars that are showing up. Maybe you need parts for your car. I bet they have it. And uh, also, don't forget to head on over to shopwashchiargo.com for cool shirts like this. Uh, huge shout out to Tyler for helping. It took us, uh, well, we looked at wiring diagrams for like two hours probably, and, and we got nowhere because uh, first we thought the seat was from an 11, and like every couple of years, all the colors in the connector change and at least I'm figuring it out because, well, I need to go find the right PDF. I'm gonna do a little more work. That said, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do, and I will talk to you next time. Leather seats, bro. I'm excited. Look at these doors. These doors are incredible. They open all the way back. Super cool. Massive mirrors. Bonus Fiat content. So, Tyler's got his 500X over here, which is like the really fat, overweight Abarth. And uh, same same engine though. And we're going to do the multi-air filter, which I don't know if you guys have ever seen. So, we haven't done too much. We just pulled the air box off. Uh, of course, those two lines right there. Uh, quick disconnects, and then we just flipped it over, pulled the air box out, one bolt out of the engine mount. And then there, that thing right there is the multi-air filter. 
and I don't think I've seen really any videos on doing a multi-air filter because I don't really think they go bad that often. The dealership had never ordered one when I bought mine. He's doing his, he's gonna try to solve a problem with multi-air, uh, it's throwing a code right now. How's it coming, bro? Getting her out of there. <laughs> A lot of thread lock on that I know. thing. Uh, slowly, uh, one little turn at a time. Yeah. Also, that rag is in there to keep the oil from getting on the timing belt. Hopefully, yeah. that works out. Ah, oh, the filter that I can't find anywhere. I, <laughs> it's in my house somewhere. Ready? It's a little mesh screen in there. Three, yeah. two. Oh, I gotta unscrew it. Nope, pull. All right, go. Oh. It didn't leak any oil at all. There's, Oops. yeah. This filter is, uh, like, there's some crud in there, but it's definitely not stopping any oil from getting into the thing. Knocking this oil change out, the cartridge filter is going back in. We are ready to fill it with oil. Uh, I guess if you put the drain plug back in, huh? I did put the drain plug back Sweet. in. Sweet! I'm uh, uh, just gonna so. get that seated. Yep. And torque it. Torquing it down, and, uh, of course, Super easy to change that filter, actually. We didn't even have to take out that bolt. Just get the air box out of your way and the timing belt cover out of your way. And uh, a 10 mil Allen wrench makes it easy to get started. That w went pretty well, actually. That took less time than the oil change has taken so far because of this cartridge filter. <laughs> Fiat complete, let's see if it runs. You want to start? Oh, I hope it'll start. <laughs> oh no, bad sounds. No, I'm sure it's good, everything's perfect. Brand new oil, brand new filters, multi-air filter. Will it clear the code? Oh yeah. You still have a code? Oh, sweet. Good to go.